He's one of the greatest shooters the NBA has ever seen. Capable of changing a game, a series, and the course of basketball history with a flick of the wrist. And just like that, Cody State has momentum on their side. The personification of Cali Cool, but fiercely competitive nonetheless. From LA to the Bay, and every triumphant stop in between, This is the story behind Clay Thompson. Clay was born on February 8, 1990 in Los Angeles, the second of three sons to Michael and Julie Thompson. Michael, the first overall pick in the 1978 NBA Draft, a 13-year NBA veteran and two-time champion, was then playing out the late stages of his career with the Lakers. Julie played college volleyball herself, so a future in athletics wasn't exactly unexpected for the newest addition of the Thompson household. A couple of years later, following Michael's retirement from professional basketball, the Thompsons moved to the Portland area, which had been Michael's first NBA stop. It was in Oregon where Clay met and befriended the son of another former NBA and a future star himself, Kevin Love. Thompson and Love played Little League Baseball together, but there was no question which sport would prove their true calling. After the family moved back to California, this time Orange County, when he was a teenager, Clay found his basketball footing at Santa Margarita Catholic High School. As a senior, Thompson earned Division III State Player of the Year and Second Team All-American honors for averaging 21 points per game and leading the Eagles to the 2008 Division III State Championship. In a preview of what was to come on courts all over the world for the next decade and a half, Clay drained seven three-pointers in that state championship game. Still, Santa Margarita and Division III high school ball weren't exactly where future stars were made, and Thompson was seen as a solid but unspectacular four-star recruit when he committed to Washington State. Clay made an immediate impact on the Cougars and in the Pac-10. He started every game and logged more than 33 minutes a night as a freshman, then averaged 19.6 points and was named All-Pac-10 first team as a sophomore. With NBA buzz now building, Thompson led the Pac-10 in scoring as a junior, before setting a Pac-10 tournament single-game scoring record in the postseason. This is the first Thompson gets it, scores, give him 43! The sweet shooting guard also set Washington State's single-season scoring record that year, before declaring for the 2011 NBA Draft as a lottery-level talent. Clay's final year of school wasn't without hiccups, however. The then 21-year-old was suspended for the Cougars' regular season finale, after being issued a misdemeanor citation for marijuana possession following a traffic stop. Still, Clay was clearly NBA bound, and the Golden State Warriors made it official on draft night. The 11th pick in the 2011 NBA draft, the Golden State Warriors select Clay Thompson from Washington State University. Just like that, and unbeknownst to the Warriors or the rest of the association, an era-defining backcourt of the future, the Splash Brothers, was in place. Playing behind Curry and veteran guard Monta Ellis for much of his rookie season, Thompson's freshman campaign as a pro was rather nondescript while he toiled away on a 23-43 team in a lockout-shortened year. Still, signs of a bright future emerged. Thompson averaged 12.5 points on 44-41-87 shooting, logged more than 24 minutes a night, and earned all rookie first team honors. In addition, Clay averaged better than 18 points and 34 minutes as Golden State's starting shooting guard following the March 2012 trade of Ellis to Milwaukee, which brought Andrew Bogut to the Bay. A few months later, the Warriors selected a loudmouth defensive Swiss Army knife named Draymond Green in the second round of the 2012 draft. With Thompson emerging as a secondary star beside Curry, and the team's talent and upside boosted, better times were ahead for the Warriors, who had made the playoffs just once in the previous 18 years. The turnaround began in 2012-13, as the Dubs proved one of the league's most surprising teams. Golden State won 47 games to make the playoffs for the first time in five years, then stunned a 57-win Nuggets team in six games before falling to the eventual West champion Spurs in the second round. Though Curry's first round performance against Denver stole the headlines, and Thompson himself battled inconsistency in his first postseason appearance, there were plenty of highs for Clay too, who shot better than 54% from deep against San Antonio in the West Semis. Jared Jack off balance, and here is Clay Thompson hitting the three as time runs out in a clutch three. 
Still, Thompson's playoff resume remained suspect early in his career. Though head coach Mark Jackson was already calling the Splash Brothers the greatest shooting backcourt of all time, and the regular season numbers were beginning to indicate Jackson may not be crazy, the postseason was a different story. The 2013-14 Warriors once again entered the playoffs as the Western Conference's sixth seed after a 51-win campaign that stood as the franchise's best mark in 22 years. But the team fell in seven games to the rival Clippers in the first round. Over the final two games of that series, Thompson totaled just 24 points on 7 of 22 shooting. Through three years as a pro, Thompson's playoff numbers left something to be desired. And as Jackson gave way to new head coach Steve Kerr before the 2014-15 season, it was fair to wonder whether Clay could be the supporting star Curry's Warriors needed to compete for a championship. The Warriors themselves weren't questioning anything. In fact, Golden State drew criticism at the time for reportedly being unwilling to include Thompson in any trade packages for Clay's old friend, Kevin Long. Remember, this was before Thompson had made a single All-Star appearance or had proven his worth to a perennial contender, while Love was already a three-time All-Star coming off an age 25 season in which he averaged roughly 26 points, 13 rebounds, and four assists. But the Warriors wouldn't budge, knowing full well what Thompson was capable of. And Love ended up in Cleveland with LeBron James' Cavaliers, who, in another twist of fate, would be waiting for the Warriors in the NBA Finals about a year after the trade that never happened. Kerr's first season in charge was the beginning of a new era of dominance for the Warriors. Curry reached another stratosphere as an MVP-level superstar, and Green emerged as an irreplaceable full-time starter. But few players benefited from Kerr's motion offense quite like Thompson, who became a 20 points per game scorer, an all-star, and an all-NBA guard for the first time in his career. One performance, or rather one quarter in particular from that season, stood out for the new all-star. The Kings have 19, Curry has 29. Get it to him again. He's got it. His three. And Clay Thompson has 50 and 37 in a quarter. Though his shot fell off somewhat over the last few games of the finals, Thompson also answered the postseason critics in 2015. He averaged just under 20 points while shooting nearly 43% from deep through the Western Conference portion of the playoffs, which saw the Warriors go 12-3 before surviving LeBron and the injury-battered loveless Cavs in the finals. And the dream season is now complete. The Golden State Warriors are the 2015 NBA champions. Their first title in 40 years. The encore to that 2015 breakthrough for Thompson and the Warriors was even more impressive. The defending champs exploded out of the gates in 2015-16, opening the season with 24 straight wins en route to an NBA record 73-9 season. Clay upped his scoring and efficiency again, averaging 22.1 points on 59.7% true shooting while suiting up for 80 of 82 games for the best team in regular season history. He also won the three-point contest as part of a memorable All-Star weekend in Toronto. Then came the playoffs, where despite the Warriors becoming the first team to blow a 3-1 series lead in the finals in a devastating rematch against the Cavs, Thompson enjoyed what was likely the best postseason of his Hall of Fame career. Clay averaged an efficient 23 points in a five-game first-round victory over Houston, then averaged an absurd 31 points on 50-50-94 shooting in a five-game romp of the Blazers. In what amounted to a statement month for Thompson, his heroics were a big part of why the Warriors went 4-2 without Curry in those first couple playoff rounds, as the unanimous MVP nursed ankle and knee injuries. His defining moment from that 2016 playoff run was still to come, though and it's one that still haunts the nightmares of Thunder fans years later. In the West Finals, after failing to close out the heavily favored Warriors at Oracle Arena in Game 5, the Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook-led Thunder returned to Oklahoma City with another chance to slay the Dragon in Game 6. The Thunder led for nearly 38 minutes on that Sunday night in OKC, including an 8-point lead with about 8 minutes remaining, but Clay refused to let the Warriors die forever cementing himself as Game 6 Clay. Thompson, yes, another three. Here's Thompson who just checked back in and knocks out a three. Terrific night, 33 points, a long three for Thompson, and that is an NBA record. Thompson exploded for 41 points, including a then-playoff record 11 three-pointers to help Golden State stave off elimination 
pulling the Warriors off the ropes by single-handedly outscoring the Thunder 19 to 18 in the fourth quarter. Clay, you told your coach after game five you don't want to go home, and you may, you definitely didn't want to go home tonight. None of us did, and uh, I'm just so proud of everybody, man. We were down almost the whole game, and we never gave up, and just our resiliency paid off in the end. After finishing off the Thunder back at Oracle in Game 7, the Warriors would be victims of that same resiliency in the following round, losing three straight games to Cleveland while on the precipice of a repeat. Of course, Thompson and the Warriors returned with Durant on their side the following year, and ran roughshod over the rest of the league, winning 67 regular season games before going 16-1 and in the playoffs to secure a second championship in three years. Despite the addition of another Hall of Fame scorer and ball dominant alpha, Thompson posted his career high in scoring during that 2016-17 campaign, averaging 22.3 points while leading the league leading Warriors in minutes played to secure his third straight All-Star selection. That season also featured the most prolific individual performance of Clay's career. Clay corner three. That performance personified the uniqueness of Thompson, a ruthlessly efficient star who rarely needs the ball to inflict irreparable damage on the opposition. Clay's 60 points that night were scored while needing just 11 total dribbles, with an average of just 1.5 seconds per touch. In addition, it remains the only instance in NBA history that a player scored at least 60 points in less than 30 minutes of action. The machine-like consistency continued in 2017-18. Though he missed more time than he had at any other point of his career up to that point, nine measly games due to a broken thumb, Clay enjoyed his most efficient season averaging an even 20 points while shooting better than 52% inside the arc and 44% from deep. Funny enough, the only players who've ever scored so much on such outrageous efficiency are Curry and Durant. Thompson followed that up with what would also go down as his most efficient postseason to date, sleepwalking his way to nearly 20 points per game while shooting the leather off the ball to help the Warriors follow up a 58-win regular season with a 16-5 playoff run. Thompson and the Dubs were repeat champions and on top of the basketball world for a third time in four years. Though fractures in Durant's relationship with the team dominated headlines in 2018-19, Thompson and the Warriors kept on humming. Clay set the single game record for three-pointers by drilling 14 in a win at Chicago a couple weeks into the season as part of a fifth straight All-Star campaign that saw Thompson finish second only to Durant for minutes played on a 57-win top-seeded team. His underrated defense was also finally awarded, as 2018-19 marked the only all-defensive team selection for the two-way metronome. All those minutes and long playoff runs finally caught up to Thompson and the Warriors in the spring of 2019, though, as they returned to the finals, this time against the Raptors. With Durant already on the shelf, Clay suffered a hamstring injury in Game 2, forcing him to miss a playoff game for the first time in his career. Though he returned for games four and five and played the hero to stave off elimination in the latter, disaster was awaiting in game six. Thompson running the floor and a foul. And Thompson grabs his left knee. Now writhing in pain. The injury effectively ended any chance Golden State might have had of extending the series, but the lasting image of that unfortunate night for Warriors fans is Thompson bobbing out of the tunnel and sinking two free throws on a torn up knee. As it turned out, those gutsy free throws in June 2019 would be Thompson's last moments on an NBA court for nearly three years, as after working his way back from a torn ACL, Thompson suffered a ruptured Achilles tendon in a November 2020 pickup game. With Curry also sidelined for much of the 2019-20 campaign and Clay shelved for two full seasons, the once mighty Warriors went a league worst 15 and 50 in 2020, then were eliminated from playoff contention in the play-in tournament in 2021. For those who understood the fire that burned beneath the surface of the soft-spoken superstar, Images of a sullen Thompson throughout those two years were tough to bear. Though there was hope the Warriors could once again be contenders with Thompson returning at some point during the 2021-2022 season, there were no guarantees. The only precedence in league history of a star level player missing as much time between games as Thompson did between June 2019 and his January 2022 return were perhaps Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson coming out of retirement. This was an entirely different animal altogether. In typical Clay Thompson fashion, however, the quintessential warrior persevered, putting the work in day by day, 
head down, letting his game slowly but surely do the talking. He's back! And now, in his 11th NBA season, out of Washington State University, number 11, Clay! Thompson played in 32 of the Warriors' final 44 regular season games and still managed to average more than 20 points in less than 30 minutes, knocking down 38.5% of his 9.3 three-point attempts per game. As if he could sniff the approaching postseason spotlight he once thrived under, Clay topped 30 points five times in his last 11 regular season games including 41 points on 16 of 29 shooting in a season finale blowout of the Pelicans. Thompson's 2022 playoff performance would prove even more inspiring. Although his offense was no longer as consistent as it once was pre-injuries, Clay's return to form on the defensive end proved more evident as the postseason wore on, and he was still capable of erupting at any moment. There was his 32 points on 60% shooting in a Game 4 loss to Denver in Round 1, a 30-point outburst to eliminate Memphis in, of course, Game 6 of the second round, a 32-point performance to close out the Mavs in Game 5 of the West Finals, and plenty of triumphant moments in his return to the finals three years after the first of his two devastating injuries. In particular, Thompson's shooting in the third quarter of Game 5 kept the Warriors within reach, so that Curry and company could finish the job in the fourth quarter, and three nights later in Game 6. Eight of his 15 here in this third. Thompson tries to answer and does! Play Thompson with back-to-back -back threes. In the end, the Warriors had a fourth championship in eight seasons. Thompson himself had a fourth championship in his last six seasons, all of which ended with at least a finals appearance, and he led the champs in playoff minutes just a few months into his return following a 31-month absence. If that doesn't encapsulate Thompson's understated value to Golden State's dynasty, as Curry's first finals MVP, Green's usual antics, and Andrew Wiggins' finals debut overshadowed everything Clay, I don't know what does. Through nine seasons and 11 years in the NBA, Klay Thompson has been a model of excellence, consistency, and durability. And then for a second act worthy of a Hollywood comeback story, an inspiring example of resiliency. He's a five-time All-Star, a two-time All-NBA selection, and a four-time champion the two-way linchpin of a modern dynasty. He won Olympic gold in 2016 and helped Team USA win the Basketball World Cup in 2014. Among the top 28 players in all-time three-pointers made, he's third in three-point percentage, behind only Curry and Kyle Korver. In the 11 years since his NBA debut, he's 17th in scoring despite the fact he missed two whole seasons, thanks in part to the fact that over his first eight years as a pro, he missed an average of just three games per season. Whether he's extolling the benefits of swimming in the ocean, chilling with his beloved dog Rocco, or talking scaffolding. I usually observe if the, if the piping and stuff is new or if sometimes, you know, some of it looks like it's been there a while. Thompson has emerged as the embodiment of effortless cool among his star peers. Ask any rival who succumbed to the wrath of Clay over the last decade, however, and they'll tell you that the mild-mannered interview who exudes the chillest of West Coast vibes is as competitive as they come. There was this one player on the Grizzlies who tweeted strength and numbers after they beat us in the regular season, and it pissed me off so much. I can't wait to retweet that thing, freaking bum. That, I had to watch that. I'm just like, this freaking cloud. Okay. 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 Sorry. That memory just popped up. You're going to mock us? Like, you ain't ever been there before, bro. We've been there. We know what it takes. So to be here again, hold that. He isn't their best player, and he certainly isn't their loudest. But because of Clay Thompson and everything he represents, both on and off the court, the only thing the Warriors have been holding during Clay's career are championships. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button.